Hi everybody, welcome to the beautiful Dune area of Kitchener to the Homer Watson House and Gallery. That's right, this is the place where Eastwood Collegiate's Visual Arts students of 2021 are presenting their show titled Ineffable. This is Homer Watson's Home and Gallery. Let's go in and see the show. Join me as we go into the gallery because, you know, we're in a global pandemic and Ontario's in lockdown. So you can't come physically. I'm gonna have to take you virtually. So let's head up the stairs before we go in. Well, here's our fashion statement of 2020. Let's put that mask on. Good afternoon, my name is Tabitha Watson and I'm the director and cur curator here at Homer Watson House and Gallery. I'd like to virtually welcome you to our current exhibition, Ineffable, by Eastwood Art Students. Uh, Homer Watson House and Gallery has a long history of being a home for the arts and supporting up and coming artists and we'd like to invite you to be a part of that story. Hello and welcome to the opening exhibition of Ineffable at the Homer Watson House and Gallery. Ineffable, too great or extreme to be described in words. I can't believe we're not really here. This is the first time in decades for me that we've not had the show real. So it is an unbelievable time. We've had an unbelievable time with um, the pandemic, with a lot of political strife, with natural disasters. And in this exhibition that you will be visiting tonight virtually, you will see that our students really reflect what's going on in the times. You can see images that show um, viruses and disease and how that affects our psychoses. You can see images of challenge in terms of depression and anxiety. You can see images that through their color and mark making show the angst uh, that is going on in our society. So our students really have captured the pulse of what's going on at this time and this challenging time. So part of this challenge has been to get this exhibition up and running. I am forever grateful to Tabitha Watson, Ralph Wall, and the whole Watson House and Gallery staff and board of directors for allowing us to have this exhibition. Be it virtually, we're still excited to be part of the lineage of Homer Watson and all of the wonderful things he has done to support artists in the community and uh, really nourish, um, in this case, the youth in our society and their artistic abilities. So we hope you enjoy the show tonight as you look at it and um, we're very honored that you have come to this opening and to here to celebrate the accomplishments of our students. Thank you so much, enjoy the show. Hello everyone, my name is Jessica Legatti and I am one of the co-directors of our show Ineffable. Before we begin, I would like to give a list of thank yous to everyone who helped make the show possible. First, on behalf of the class, I'd like to thank Tabitha, Art Director. Thank you so much for your kindness and support and everything you did to make the show possible. Next, we'd like to thank the entire Homer Watson House and Gallery staff. Thank you so much for this amazing opportunity and putting work in to making our show look great. Next, we'd like to thank all our friends, families, and teachers who are here supporting us today. Thank you so much for supporting us on our journey through creating the show, as well as our journey as artists. Lastly, we'd like to thank our amazing artistic guide and mentor, Sandra Bethel. Thank you so much for everything you've taught us in the past four years at Eastwood. You are an amazing teacher, and we love you so much. I hope you all enjoy. Augustini and this is my work titled Self-Portrait as an Engineer. 
I chose to do the engineer archetype because it's something I'm considering as a future career path, specifically into biomedical engineering as you can see through the DNA and the blood cells in this piece. This work took a lot of time to really get everything figured out in the right spot that I wanted it. I used Photoshop to move a lot of my elements around and make sure that the composition works really well together. I found that this piece like, really merges my love of science and art together, and I thank the Homer Watson House and Gallery for giving me the opportunity to show it. Hi, my name is Lola, and this is my portrait titled Shrike. It has me as the archetype of femme fatale. And it was named after the Hosier song called Shrike. We've got the bird wing in the back and then the Shrike trees. I'm excited to exhibit this work at Homer Watson. Hi, my name is Nicole Bielitska, and today I'll be showing you my piece, Price to Pay, and the archetype of a lover, archetype I'd want to be. Throughout this piece, there's a lot of symbolism, and I'll be explaining it thoroughly. So the main figure is lying down comfortably, and other figures are around the figure, the main figure, and they're kind of yearning for the love of the main figure. You also see a heart around the main figure, symbolizing a balance between masculinity and femininity that is among the lover archetype. Around the border, you see a lot of other symbolism, and you see swans, which is a symbolism, kind of like a motherly figure. And you see eyes, which represents how observant the lover can be. You also see a mask, which shows how the lover might hide their identity. At the top, you also see hands, which is someone reaching out for an invisible hand, kind of like the blue, matching with the background. So that's a majority of the symbolism that's involved with my archetype portrait of the lover. Hello, my name is Kim Bulford, and this is my sculpture, uh, Unwavering Resilience. This is my first time using a tooth fix as a medium, and it was very exciting to start with going straight into the creative process and just building off of what I had started creating. I started making the heads and then just worked from the necks down to the body and the legs and then built the wings off it. It was very interesting to mold and create these organic shapes with just a bunch of straight lines from the toothpicks. I hope you enjoy seeing it at the gallery. Hi, I'm Zoe Diligenis and this is my piece, Are You Still Not Over That? Uh, I was inspired to do a textile piece after seeing the works of Tracy Ehrman and I wanted to do a t-shirt because the way that one can often carry around their emotions is the same way, the same way we wear clothing. And I flipped the shirt inside out because just because you can't see something doesn't mean that it's any less real. I also have the strings hanging down from the sleeves and the shirt holes because while the emotions aren't clearly seen from the outside, it doesn't mean that the strings aren't still there. I'm Morgan Ernest, and this is my Colograph print entitled Violet High Rise. What really surprised me about um, this work was the process. I was very intrigued from the beginning on how I could move things around because I worked with individual stencils. I think I could pull a texture out of, so I used old wallpapers and used the brayer and put the color over top and when you put it through the press, the texture would come out onto the paper. The layering, moving everything around, really surprised me that I could have so much freedom within my work. And I'm really excited that I get to share my work in this exhibition. Hi, my name is Kaylee Hudson and this is my work titled Jealousy. In this piece, I wanted to work more expressive with my brushwork as I tend to work more holistically in my art and uh, it was just really freeing to be able to work more loosely and it was lots of fun and I hope you're able to check it out in the gallery. Hello, my name is Jessica Legatti and today I'll just be discussing my planning for my piece Fear the Untrustworthy for our show Ineffable. First thing I did is I went into my sketchbook and I created a mind map based off based off all the different things that came to my mind when I thought about my archetype, the gossip. Next, I actually went into the shower to get my photos that I would be basing my main portrait off of. 
to hopefully capture the feeling of drowning in your own thoughts and sadness. When I was in the shower, I had my mom take photos of me and I put them all into my sketchbook so I can create my preliminaries, so I can create this piece later on. Thank you so much for coming to our virtual opening and I hope you enjoy the show. Hi, my name is Rebecca McFarland. I'm here today to share with you the process and concept of my archetypal self-portrait as a priestess. It was very empowering for me to be able to put myself in the position as a priestess while painting this. I to add the columns in because I wanted it to seem like I was coming into a place of sharing and giving of someone without making it look like it was a scene. So I stylized it and made it more gestured so it wasn't fully incorporated, but you could still sense the energy of a room. That's also including all the smoke. The smoke was to be filling up the room with protection and filling the void of displayness. Giving and healing, powering, the protection of giving to other people. Very unimaginable the feeling of putting myself in that position. And I'm very excited to be in this exhibition. Hi, I'm Jade Bardens, and this is my self-portrait. I decided to depict myself as the dilettante, which is a jack-of-all-trades, master of none sort of thing, because I have lots of different interests in the arts, such as dancing and singing. Uh, this is some of my process work. This one was a little too cliche, just didn't work out that well. This one's kind of basic as well, and I ended up changing the clothes because it was a little too renaissance -y, and I ended up with this and added more symbols, and it really worked out well. I really hope you can come out and see the show. My name is Kate Roper. This is my painting, acrylic on canvas, and I've layered masonite over top to create a relief surface. And my intention with this piece and the series overall was to capture that beauty that I find of urban environments juxtaposed with nature. So to really capture that element, I try to juxtapose a lot of thick textures onto the wall uh, with some very vibrant colors, the actual nature below. That's my piece. I hope you enjoy the show. Hi, I'm Tessa Sutton, and this is my piece entitled Fluidity. I really enjoy mixing colors in a way that translates several different moods, both a serene and calm and a seductive and outward expressive, strong, just really powerful color that's kind of subdued. I hope you get a chance to see this up close to the showcase. Hi, my name is Leah Simons. Today I'm going to talk about my line of block reduction. It's of my dog. Her name is Callie and she's a golden retriever. This is the final layer color of my print. So what you see here that's not carved out is the black. And it's a pretty cool process because you start with a flat plate and then you carve out each layer. So you're destroying it as you go. So this is what it turns out with at the end. Thank you for listening. I hope you can come out to see our show. Hi, I'm Chase Van Vliet and I will be talking about my piece Fractured. I created this piece because I wanted to show how my sister and I, who are twins, are commonly paired together and are less so two separate people. I used the checkerboard because it's very easy to move the pieces around and show how different aspects of ourselves are more prominent than others. I really hope that you can come out to Homer Watson and see it yourself. Thank you. Hi, my name is Georgia Van Vliet and here are some of the pieces that are in my mini series. This one portraying the feeling of overwhelm and this one portraying the feeling of depression and I decided to focus on non-objective because I'd never done it before. This piece I really enjoyed making because it is an encaustic which is hot wax and I had never done it before and I really enjoyed it because it was different than acrylic or pencil crayon because it's mostly in control no matter how much you try to control the medium, it controls you, uh, basically. So I hope you have the time 
to come see these in uh, Homer Watson Art and Gallery. Uh, hi, my name is Daniel Veronesa and I am a grade 12 Eastwood art major. I'll be sharing a bit about my mini series. These are two of three pieces, and this is Fear of the Unknown and Fear of Germs. I personally heavily relate to this theme, and I feel like a lot of others can relate, and basically kind of like the struggles, my everyday struggles with anxiety, and basically what bothers me the most in a day. And my personal favorite piece in this mini series would be Fear of Germs, because kind of like gross feelings on my hands. Like I feel like a lot of others can relate to it, especially during this time.
Well, everyone, thank you so much for coming to the exhibition Ineffable at Homer Watson House and Gallery. Virtual, but still excellent work once again from my students. I'd like to thank, again, Tabitha and Ralph for their continuing support and encouragement. And I would be amiss if I were not to mention my amazing, super supportive, and talented colleague, Sheena Gruber. Thank you so much for everything you have done to support me mentally, emotionally, as well as technologically, because it's really not my thing. And if it weren't for you, this whole opening wouldn't have happened. To Nicole Belishka, thank you so much for the work you've done to get this opening video going. I really appreciate your effort. And to all my artists, thank you. It's been an honor and a privilege to have taught you over the last four years. I am always inspired by you. Um, you've taken a piece of my heart and forever you will be my ineffable artist. I wish you all the best in the, your future endeavors. Please continue to create. You have something very important to say in the world. Thank you again for coming. I hope you enjoyed the show. Bye. Thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed the exhibition. Thanks. Bye, Tabitha. Bye. Hello, and welcome to the Eastwood Collegiate Institute Exhibition of Fine Art titled Ineffable at the Homer Watson House and Gallery. That's in behind me. Behind me and my friends. Because my friends now, well, we can't be together. Let's do this.